back to my channel. So as you can probably tell, I'm here to do my annual What I Got For Christmas video. These videos have become some of my favorite. I love looking back at years past to see, you know, I don't know what I got for Christmas that year, and I love just kind of recording what I get each year. I think it's really fun um, sharing it with you, and I hope you guys enjoy seeing what I got as much as I do sharing it with you. And I thought it'd be really fun this year to actually wear my Christmas jammies for this video because my family has been doing the Christmas jammies tradition for as long as I can remember, and my husband and I decided to continue the tradition. So every year, my husband and I exchange Christmas jammies, and this is what he got me this year. They are from Old Navy, and they're this cute little, like, um, you know, thermal kind of style with some Christmas sweaters on it. They are super comfy and cozy and I have been like living in them all yesterday and today. So I thought it'd be fun to just kind of wear them and have a really super casual sit down video with you guys and show you guys what I got for Christmas this year. So I do kind of have my gifts um, grouped up into categories. I have some home stuff, I have some gardening stuff, I have beauty. I just have a whole bunch of different kinds of gifts to share with you today. I thought I would start off with my gardening gifts because I got quite a few this year because I really got into gardening last year with being in our first home for our first summer. I really enjoyed um, working in my garden, but I didn't really have any of the gardening tools of my own, so I borrowed a lot from my mom and my mother-in-law, so this year I was actually gifted quite a few tools of my own, so I'm very excited to put them to use this spring in my garden, and yeah, so. Let's dive right in. Very first thing I'm going to show you is this really cute set of just gardening tools. There is, I'm not sure if it says the names, nope. All right, so there is what looks like a trowel. There is a kind of like rake type thing. I, guys, I'm still very much a beginner gardener, so I don't really know what these tools are, but I know they'll be useful. And yeah, I actually haven't taken them out of the little container yet. I really like this little box too, by the way. It has like a nice little rope handle. I just think it's really cute. All right, so let's see what these look like. They all have a really nice like wooden handle and this just feels really nice. This is substantial. This could do some damage. <laughs> but yeah, there's this kind of like miniature rake type tool. There's this small shovel, which I'm pretty sure is a trowel. My mom was saying that there were two different kinds. Like there was like a skinny one and a fat one. This looks like the fat kind of shovel. So I think it's called a trowel, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. And then the last thing, I really have no earthly idea what this is supposed to do. Although if I had to guess, I would say this is to kind of like turn soil over. So you kind of like dig it into the ground to like, I don't know, mix things up if your soil is really hard or something. So that would be my guess. But yeah, these seem really nice and like hefty and I'm really excited to use them. There was also a companion gift that didn't actually make it here on time for Christmas. So um, my husband also got me a little like gardening tool bag, like storage bag to kind of like, you know, put all my tools and stuff in that I can carry around. And it's the Martha Stewart one. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it here. Um, but that just didn't arrive in the mail in time. So I don't have it here to show you. But moving along, I also got a couple different kinds of shears. So I got these two tiny ones, which have like really nice silicone handles that I really like. And these are kind of more for detail work. One is a rounded shear and then one is kind of a straight shear. I don't exactly know the official purpose for each kind of blade, but I'm sure they have their own specific job, so I'll have to look into that. I also got a really, really nice big sheet pair of um, Felco shears, and yeah, these look so nice. I'm really excited. These are going to be like my legit first pair, first official pair of shears. And to go with that, I also received a nice leather like holster that you can strap onto like your belt or your pants or whatever to carry these around with you, which will be super convenient. And then the final couple of tools I got was a nice pair of gardening gloves. These are, let's see, West County gloves. And the mesh on the gloves are 100% recycled materials, which is awesome. And they are also, I believe, machine washable. Yeah, machine wash and dryable. So that'll be really nice because I know from experience my gloves got really, really dirty this past summer. And also I'm really excited to have just like a nice sturdy pair of gloves because I definitely went through a couple um, pairs of, you know, just the cheaper kind of gloves that are not disposable, but they definitely are not meant to last. So I'm really excited to have a nice substantial pair of gardening gloves that I can, you know, kind of keep for a good amount of time. And to go with that, I, at first when I opened this up, I had no idea what it was. I had to have my mother-in-law explain it to me, but this is a clip for holding your gloves. And so these two, here, let me take it out of the bag to show you guys. So 
I think it goes this way, so you kind of pinch it together and that clasp opens on the top and you can, you know, attach that to your pants or your clothes or whatever. And then the other one you clasp, clasp onto your gloves, so you can basically, it's a hands-free, easy way of carrying your gloves around. You can also use this to store it, which is what I might use it for, um, just kind of hang it in my shed and then have a nice little place to hang my gardening gloves so that I always know where they are and so they have a nice place to like dry because sometimes they can get pretty... Um, you know, saturated and wet if you're working in wet soil. So yeah, excited about those. And then the last couple things that I got for my garden, I got a starting from seed book from the Brooklyn, Bo Bro Brooklyn Botanic Garden. I tried my hand at propagating from seeds last summer and I was able to get them all to sprout. However, the seedlings all ended up dying. <laughs> so apparently that's the stage where it gets really tricky getting it from seedling to actual like plant. So hopefully this can have some good tips for propagating seeds for me. And then I also got some heirloom zinnias and a snapdragon mix of seeds to, you know, try my hand at growing from seeds. And then I also got this really cute 2019 gardening old farmer's almanac calendar and it just has a bunch of, you know, pretty gardening pictures in it. So I am just all set to go when spring gets here and I cannot wait to head outside and start playing with all of my new gardening tools and getting my garden all set up. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> all right, next up, I just have a couple of, you know, just fun things basically. So I think actually both of these gifts were to my husband and I. So first of all, we got a little mini Pac-Man, um, arcade game and it just looks so fun so I hope you can see it it's in this um you know like plastic packaging so I hope that's not reflecting too much from the, the lights but it's basically literally just a mini arcade game and yeah I'm really excited Pac-Man is definitely one of my favorite arcade games and I think it'll just be really fun to have around and to you know pull out if we have friends over and then along with that we also got uh Fredericks and May paper games and so it looks like this. It's a set of five little notepads, and each color notepad has a different kind of paper game. So the games included are Tic-Tac-Toe, Dots and Boxes, Nim, Hedron, and Hex. So I know, obviously I know what Tic-Tac-Toe is. I know what Dots and Boxes are. And the other three games I don't think I've heard of, and so they'll be fun to kind of um, learn and play, but yeah, so each notepad, for example, I'll pull out the tic-tac-toe one and show you guys an example. Here it is. Alright, so on each sheet of paper there's actually room for three tic-tac-toe games, so it just has the little grids kind of drawn out for you, and so you can just play a couple games of tic-tac-toe, and then when you finish up this sheet, you can just rip it off and there's another one right behind it. So it has this whole notepad worth of games and again, there's six, five, five different games and notepads. So I think that again, is just a really fun thing to kind of have around the house. If you know, my husband and I ever get bored and just kind of, you know, are looking for something to do, this will be fun. It'll be fun for when we have guests over for dinner. And yeah, I just think that's a really cute game idea. <laughs> All right, moving along, my next category of gifts is home gifts. And the first thing I have to show you is this Mark and Graham personalized gifts blanket. And this is like the softest blanket in the world. I just want to curl myself up in it, but I've been resisting opening it up so that I would have it nice and pretty and brand new to show you guys in this video. Um, so this actually came in a FabFitFun box. And what my husband and I have started to do for Christmas um, each year is get each other a uh, subscription box because it's a really really great way to make your Christmas budget kind of um, stretch so you you know spend 40 or 50 dollars for a subscription box and end up with you know for example FabFitFun I think they're 50 dollars each and you get over $200 worth of product. So again, if you know a subscription box is something that the person you're trying to buy for is full of things that they would like, it's a great way to get them, you know, lots and lots of gifts and, you know, go easy on your budget. So yeah, that's something that my husband and I have started doing is getting each other at least one subscription box to put under the tree, which is full of lots of fun goodies. And yeah, it's just always fun opening up subscription boxes and just seeing all the fun stuff that comes in them. So. Anyways, <laughs> this blanket is one of the things that came in my FabFitFun box, and again, I'm really excited to open this up and just, it's like the perfect snuggle up on the couch blanket because it's nice, and it's not too heavy, it's pretty light, but it's just so soft and snuggly, so yeah, it's a really good all year round blanket. And next up, I got a really funny um, oven mitt, which is actually 
quite useful because both of our oven mitts in our kitchen are quite old and grungy and so we really are actually in need of a new oven mitt. And this is kind of a funny one. It says, my favorite salad is wine. <laughs> and so I thought that was funny. It's by Blue Q Oven Mitts if you are interested in finding one for yourself. And yeah, that would be really nice to add to the kitchen. And next we also have another joint gift to my husband and I. Um, I have two, but I'm only going to pull out one to show you guys because I want to keep them all wrapped up and protected. But these are the Love is Love. Um, I believe these are old-fashioned glasses, but I could be wrong. But they're basically the bar glasses from the Love is Love line that um, I believe Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, does it say? No. So these are from Pottery Barn. So I know Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel, and maybe West Elm are the three stores that carry this Love is Love line. We have the um, coffee mugs from this line as well. We love them. And we actually got an ornament from the line, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. It is gorgeous. But yeah, I love this. And if you know me, you know I love anything gold foil. I also love nice glassware. And so I think these will be so nice to add to our bar cart. And yeah, they're just a really fun decorative glass. In addition, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure at least a percentage of the proceeds from purchases from the Love is Love line go to the HRC, the Human Rights Campaign, which is a huge LGBT advocacy group. And obviously that's something that, you know, Miles and I would love to support because, you know, we got married as a same-sex couple and now he is trans. And so we definitely feel a huge connection to the LGBT um, community. So yeah, anything we can do to help. So I really appreciate getting gifts like this. Okay, and so the last thing I have to show you guys, uh, I don't think I'm actually going to lift it up. I'm probably just going to insert a picture for you of what I got because it's just too big to show on camera. But I got the IKEA, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the kind of like sunburst flower chandelier lighting doodad thing. Um, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. They're pretty popular. And um, I wanted this chandelier. I got the larger one to go in our bedroom. The lighting situation in our bedroom, our master bedroom ever since moving into the house has been pretty abysmal. It's just like really dark and dim in there and the light, we have like a ceiling fan light thing and we don't need a ceiling fan because we have central air in there and it's just not the most attractive thing. So I've really been wanting to replace this light for a while so I'm really excited to get this new um, light fixture installed and I think it's just going to make a world of a difference in our bedroom and the bedroom is the next room in our house that I'm kind of working on um, fixing up and designing and getting to look you know all nice so I think this will be a nice jump start on that and I can't wait to see it all put up and I think it's just going to look so good. I believe we're going to be doing that this week so if you would like to see how it looks um, in our room definitely subscribe to our vlog channel because I'll be sharing it over on there but Moving along from the home goods to the wearable goods, I guess, section is this little gift. So in home goods, we have a cute little wine bottle holder and it says, believe in the magic of Christmas. It's just one of those cute little reusable kind of wine gift bag things. And then inside is this amazing pair of fluffy socks. They are like the cushiest, softest socks I have ever felt. And I'm so excited to wear them around the house. I'm the kind of person, I obviously I work from home, and so I really like wearing um, slippers and socks around the house. I don't like walking around in bare feet, especially in the winter, it just gets chilly. So I'm always wearing something on my feet, and I am so excited to put these on, because they're just like, I wish you guys could feel it through the camera. They're just the like plushiest, thickest socks ever, and they have those nice um, no-slip grips on the bottom so they'll again be really nice to use to walk around on the house in the house and I just love the pattern it's a really nice simple white and gray pattern I just think it's super cute and then I also got another pair of socks and this yes I knew this was the same line I got um these two items I got this from my mom and this from my mother-in-law and um I got the socks first when I saw the oven mitt I was like I'm pretty sure this was from the same line from the socks from my mother-in-law and I was correct so sorry that was way rambling and you probably don't care if you weren't actually there but these are again from Blue Q and they're this really really fun color combination I love these like kind of bright neon pretty colors and it says I'm complicated thank you <laughs> and so yeah it's just kind of like a bunch of different like items for around your house that just have fun sayings on them and yeah I just think it's really funny and these actually look like really nice comfy socks to wear so yeah excited about those my feet will be nice and warm for the rest of the winter and actually one more thing for my feet I am literally dying over these so my husband actually gave these to me with my Christmas pajamas on New Year's Eve and I just about died <laughs> are these not the cutest slippers you have seen in your life I am just like 
I love them so much. They are so, so me. And I like, I wish I could wear these every day for the rest of my life and never take them off because like, they're just fabulous. So they're kind of like a velvety material on the outside and then the inside is a really nice minky faux fur kind of feel. And they have memory foam soles, which is really nice and comfy. And then obviously the best part is the pom-poms on the toes. I just like, they're so cute, I love them. And I have just been wearing these, again, nonstop since I got them. And they are also from Old Navy if you would like to go pick up a pair for yourself. I'm not sure if they came in different colors, I didn't ask, but um, I really love the like kind of, this is like a mauve pink. So I don't think it's like too over the top pink, I just, I don't know, I love these slippers. They're like, so cute. <laughs> oh, actually, really quick, we are going to swing on back to Home Goods because there's one gift that I forgot to share that kind of goes with that category. So. Um, again, it's a really big gift, so I'm not gonna be able to lift it into frame, but I'll pop a picture in here of what I got, if I can find a picture, because I'll explain in a little bit why I might not be able to find a picture of it, but I got the Hatch Baby Grow Smart Changing Pad and Scale. And you might be a little confused, because if you follow my channel, you know that I am not expecting a baby, but we are hoping to be expecting soon, and if you've been following my journey, you know that we've already been trying for a baby, and we actually recently did experience a loss, so... We know that very soon we are going to be bringing a baby into our family and I had actually already picked out this specific changing pad scale combo because I just think it's a really cool smart changing pad option to add into the nursery. I really liked it. And for Christmas they actually released a limited edition white design of the changing pad scale. And if you know me, you know I just, I love white home decor and so as soon as I saw that they were releasing a limited edition um, changing pad, I actually got kind of disappointed because I was like, well, that stinks because by the time I'm actually, you know, pregnant and we're buying for a baby, I won't be able to get this changing pad, which I actually would prefer the white over the gray. And so my husband actually did surprise me for Christmas and bought the changing pad for me and I'm really excited. It's a really, really cool changing pad. Um, if you are in the market for a changing pad or a scale for your new baby, uh, it's really, really nice and it connects to an app that you can actually use to, con to track like everything related to your baby. So not just the weight, but also feeding and diapering changes and just all that fun stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited that we have that changing pad and I will be storing it away until we bring home our little baby, but I'm excited that I have that limited edition color locked away. <laughs> Alright, next up I have a couple of fun ornaments that I received as gifts and so I wanted to share them with you as well. So this first one, every single year my grandmother gets my sister and I a Christmas ornament and this is the 2018 Christmas ornament from her. It's just a cute little like metal Christmas tree with a wood design on the inside that's painted to say let it snow. And then there's also some new greenery and berries and uh, pine cones up at the top decorating it. So yeah, I think that'll look really cute hanging up on my tree. And like I mentioned earlier, my husband and I also received the Love is Love ornament. And I am so in love with this. I think it's just the prettiest ornament. I love that it's like filled with a gold glitter and how it's clear so you can see through it. And I'm not sure if you can see... I hope you guys can see since they're, you know, ornaments are kind of small, but it says love is love in gold writing and then all around that in a circle is a rainbow of hearts. And so yeah, I just think this ornament's super cute and again, we identify with the LGBT community and so it's nice to have a Christmas ornament to kind of reflect that and I'm really excited to hang this on our tree next year. This next ornament actually is probably my favorite gift from this year and that is because it has a very sentimental meaning. This is a gift from my husband. And I actually, I'm sorry if that's kind of a teaser, but I am gonna keep the meaning behind this ornament private just between us because it is something very sentimental and personal. But this is a handmade ornament, and I believe he said he got it from Uncommon Goods, but it is made by Glass Eye Studio. And I'm pretty sure this is a hand-blown ornament. Yeah, so it says, all glass from our Seattle studio is individually crafted by artists, not machines. So yeah, it's just this beautiful pearlescent, um, glass blown ball and I just think it's so beautiful and again just the sentiment behind it makes it my favorite Christmas gift of 2018. Alright, and the last two ornaments, if you've been following my vlog channel you might already know that every single year for as long as I've been born, actually a couple years before I was born, my mom and my aunt have been making Christmas ornaments for everyone in the family each Christmas and so 
This is just one of my all-time favorite Christmas traditions. It's something that our family looks forward to every single year. And the ornament is always a surprise on Christmas Day, so we always get to open up, you know, my aunt's ornament to see what they made, and then, um, you know, they'll open up my mom's ornament. And now, actually, my husband and I get to open up my mom's ornament since we moved out, and so they keep that a secret from us each year until Christmas Day as well. So, without further ado, this is my mom's ornament for 2018. It is a handmade little partridge and it's really cute. It's made out of felt and then she hand embroidered all of the details on there. And in addition to that, there are two little silver pear charms for, you know, obviously partridge and a pear tree is the idea behind the ornament. And it's just such a beautiful little ornament. I love it. And it's also a tradition to date the ornaments since obviously we do one every year. And so there is a little silver stamped 2018 disc to mark it as 2018's ornament. And I just love it. This is definitely up there with one of my favorite ornaments made by my mom. And I can't wait to hang it on my tree from now on. Which leads us to another ornament that I'm very excited about this year. So. I always knew that when I grew up I wanted to kind of carry on this tradition of making an ornament every year. Like I said, it's one of my all-time favorite Christmas memories from growing up and I wanted to continue that tradition for my family and eventually my children. And so this year I actually made my very first ornament to send out to my family. And this is what we came up with. Miles and I actually both worked together to make this ornament. And we made little skis and ski poles kind of crossed together and tied with a red ribbon and little sprig of greenery. And yeah, I'm really, really like proud of how it turned out. I was definitely getting a little nervous because you just don't know how a project is going to turn out when you're buying all the materials and, you know, developing the plan in your head. And so I'm just really excited that they turned out exactly how I was imagining. And I was really proud of myself for making this cute little ornament. And I'm excited to now make one every single Christmas to add to our family's collection. And actually, I am doing a little giveaway over on my vlog channel. I decided it would be a great way to kind of give back to my subscribers and thank you for following along with my life. So I decided to give away one of my family ornaments that I made this year and every year from now on to my subscribers over on my vlog channel. So if you're interested in winning this for your Christmas tree, head on over to my vlog channel, subscribe and watch my Christmas day vlog, which I explained the rules for the giveaway. All right, and now moving on to the final category of gifts that I have to share with you guys today. These are all the beauty related gifts that I received. So let's start with this guy. So a couple of these items did also come in the FabFitFun box. Um, I'm pretty sure I can take a guess as to which ones, but I also, um, Miles separately wrapped each of the items for me to unwrap under the tree. And so I'm not positive about which ones came in, but I'm pretty sure I can take a guess. But anyways, um, we got this Moroccan Gold Series Intense Hair Care, uh, I believe it's a mask? Yeah, treatment mask. Yeah, treatment mask. And it smells so heavenly. I believe this is one of the things that came in FabFitFun, but oh my gosh, it smells like that, you know, super yummy Moroccan oil scent. And I just like, oh, I love it. And I'm really excited about this because I do have a Moroccan oil hair mask that I'm currently using. And I like to do a hair mask maybe once every week, once every two weeks, something like that, to just give my hair a nice little hydration and just kind of, you know, pamper myself. But I am almost out of that, so I'm really excited to have another one to try out once I finish that up. I also got this L'Occitane um, Extra Gentle Soap, and it is the Shea Milk with Shea Butter Soap. And I haven't opened it up, but you can smell it through the packaging. And it smells super yummy. I'm really excited to put this out. And I would assume it's really nice and moisturizing because it's with shea butter and shea milk, which is obviously moisturizing. And I definitely have the problem if I wash my hands too much with just normal soap, they get really dry. And so I like, you know, kind of moisturizing soaps that moisturize while they wash. So, and obviously the yummy scent is a super perk. So I'm excited to put this to use. I also got these two crystal nail files and I've been really wanting to try out uh, crystal nail files for a while because they just seem really cool and I'm I just get so tired of running through um, regular emery boards because they you know wear out and the grit kind of goes away and so I think the idea with these is that they never lose their sharpening abilities it's not the right word it's not sharpening but you know filing abilities I guess um, and this actually came in a set of two so a normal size one and then a mini one which I plan to use in my purse and so I'm really excited about that because 
I feel like I always get, you know, snagged nails or something when I'm out on the go, and so I'm really excited to have this nice little travel one so I can file my nails when I'm out and about. And they come in these really pretty white and gold cases, which is just, you know, so extra, and I love it. <laughs> Actually, let's open this up so I can show you guys what they really look like. All right, so this is the full-sized one, and the top comes off. Okay, so, yeah, so this is actually, like, the handle, and this is the nail file up here. No? I think, okay, yeah, this has to come out. So I'm like, this is smooth. Yeah, okay. So this side is the nail file. I'm not sure if both sides or just one. There's one... I think both sides. They don't even feel like an emery board. I was expecting it to be much more like jaggedy, but it just kind of feels slightly rough. I'm excited to give this a try. It's just like, how like fancy and pretty does that look? <laughs> I'm so excited. It has its own little pretty case. I am pumped about this. Okay, next up is another item from the FabFitFun box, and I'm pretty sure this is one of the reasons that um, my husband did decide to go ahead and order this box, because this is the item I've been specifically asking for, and I'm really excited to try out. So. It's a little funny and silly, but I'm just, I don't know, I've really been wanting a jade roller. And so I've heard a couple of other YouTubers talk about it, and it just seems like a really fun, nice, kind of pampering product. So the idea with this, and what I probably will use it for, is to massage serum into your skin. And so it's supposed to kind of help press it into your pores, and so you really get um, your serum nice and soaked into your skin. It also is good for facial massage, which is supposed to promote circulation, which is obviously good for all sorts of different things for your face, like, you know, cell turnover, and I think it's supposed to reduce wrinkles, and it's just supposed to be really good for your face, so I'm really excited about this. I think the Jade Stone is also supposed to have some sort of property that's supposed to help with something, but I'm not too sure. Um, but the, I know the coldness of the stone is also supposed to be able to help puffiness under your eyes, which is great. And yeah, I just think it's a really fun, like, obviously it's not a super necessary skincare thing, but I just think it's a really nice, fun, pampery item, just to, you know, feel like you're taking a little extra fun care of yourself, and, you know, I don't know, I'm really excited to use this. So, like I said, I'm likely going to be using this, uh, with my serum every night when I apply it to my skin, just to kind of give myself a little nice end of the day treat. <laughs> Two more items from the FabFitFun box. We have this Anthropology Coconut Sugar Sea Whip Body Cream. And I always like getting um, nicer lotions because when I have pamper nights and I take a bath and just kind of treat myself to a face mask and just, you know, all sorts of kind of spa activities, I like having just a little more luxurious lotion to treat myself to rather than kind of the everyday stuff that I use after showers. So yeah, I'm really excited to give this a try. I actually haven't smelled it yet because it's still sealed up and I want it to keep it sealed nice and fresh until I um, use up my current lotion and I'm ready for a new one. So I can't smell it, but I love the packaging. It's really fun and like kind of iridescent looking and just really pretty colors. So there's that. And then there is the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. And so it's just a hydrating face mask. If you guys have been following me, you know face masks are one of my all-time favorite pampering activities, and so I have a whole plethora of face masks. I can never have too many, and so I'm really excited. I actually don't have too many hydration face masks, which I've been trying to fix recently, so I'm really excited to have another one to add to my collection, and I'm excited to try it out. Okay, and the final thing that came in the FabFitFun box is the Oribe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. And I discovered dry shampoo, like, okay, it was probably a while ago now, but I still feel like I'm still kicking myself for not using it for so long that I'm still so excited about dry shampoo, but anyways, I digress. I'm really excited to try this new dry shampoo because I actually haven't had the chance to try too many different um, brands yet, and I've heard really good things about this one. So, yeah, I definitely use dry shampoo very regularly, and so I'm excited to give this kind of, I don't know, slightly fancier brand a try and like I said I heard really good things about it and you can also use it as a texturizing spray so yeah really excited about this and it just comes in this like fancy schmancy box that even has gold foil on it so that's super fun I'm always a sucker for good packaging and marketing like that <laughs> next thing I received is this really fun little package of goodies by the lift and Belif is my absolute, like, one of my favorite beauty brands and definitely my favorite, all-time favorite moisturizers. I love every single one of their uh, Aqua Balm, Moisture Balm, uh, Eye Balm. Those are the three that I've tried, and I love 
every single one of them and these this little package actually comes with a couple products from this brand that I haven't tried so I'm so excited to try them so the first thing that it comes with is the Belif moisturizing eye balm and this is the um, eye cream that I'm currently using and so I'm really excited to have a backup for when I run out of my current one because the current one I'm using is also a little sample size so it won't last forever however it's lasting a good long time for the tiny little packaging that it is so yeah this will probably I want to say last me at least six months this tiny little thing so yeah a little bit goes a long way and it just is the most luxurious I could I just I love all their products I cannot speak highly enough of them all right but moving along there is also the creamy cleansing foam moist creamy cleansing foam moist that's literally what it says okay I think this is a cleanser. I haven't tried a cleanser from this brand, but I'm really excited to give it a try because like I said, so far I've loved everything from this brand. Uh, it says it's made with Wormwood, Soapport, Sweet Flag, Napier's Original Formula. Um, so this, I believe it's a Korean beauty brand. And so it's just slightly different than anything you can find from like an American kind of brand. But yeah, I'm excited to give that a try. Another thing is the Belif Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask, which seems really awesome. So I've never used a sleeping mask before, and I'm always slightly hesitant to try one because I sleep on my side, and I feel like it'll just get, I like, I don't know, I have an active sleeper. I feel like it's going to get rubbed off, but if I'm going to try any sleeping mask, it's going to be the Belif one. And also, this is really nice because it's actually uh, resealable, so it'll be, it'll, I can use it more than once. It isn't just like a little one-time use single pack, so... Yeah, that's really great. It also came with a little sample size of the True Cream Aqua Balm. I've tried this before. I loved it before. I'm really excited to have this again. This is my all-time favorite gel moisturizer and uh, my preferred summertime moisturizer in the winter. I prefer my Holy Grail moisturizer is the... What do they call it? Yeah, Moisture Bomb. So the True, the True Cream Moisture Bomb is their lotion moisturizer, and then their Aqua Bomb is the gel moisturizer. So love both of them. So excited to have another one of them. <laughs> and then the final little guy that came in that is the Hot Hungarian Water Essence. So I'm not quite sure what this is. It says apply evenly to face and neck after cleansing and toning. So this might just be another one of their moisturizers that I haven't tried yet. So yeah. Not sure what the difference between this would be between their true creams, but I'm excited to give this a try as well. So many new Belif goodies to try out. I am psyched. <laughs> okay, and finally, the very last beauty item that I received is this Foxy Bay Curling Iron, and I'm really excited. Um, I saw Kira from OK Baby talking about it, and she actually has a coupon code, so if you guys are looking at getting this, I know I passed this coupon code onto my hubby so that he could use it for my gift, but yeah, this is what the curling wand looks like. I believe I went with the one inch, does it say? So this is 32 millimeter barrel. I'm not sure exactly what that translates to in inches, but um, I wanted something that would give me kind of more loose curls rather than tight ringlets. So I got, you know, a larger-ish barrel, but I didn't want to just have waves. I definitely wanted a curl. So hopefully this can, you know, accomplish that. And it's just literally the nicest hair tool I've ever had. It's so pretty. I love the rose gold and it just, it just looks so fancy. <laughs> so I'm really excited to give this a try. I must say, I don't really know how to curl my hair, so I'm going to be like learning on this. But yeah, I'm really excited to give it a whirl. <laughs> okay, and the last couple of gifts I received, um, I got, you know, a couple of checks and some gift cards and stuff, and I'm not going to go through those. I normally don't share those in these kind of videos just because, I don't know, they're just gift cards. But um, I did want to share one gift that I did receive from my parents, which was super sweet and so exciting. So they gifted my husband and I a weekend away at a really fun bed and breakfast uh, right here in Maryland. It's at this like uh, kind of historic looking mansion. And again, if you know me, you know I love pretty houses. So I'm really so excited about spending the weekend there. It should be just such a nice get away from my husband and I and the sentiment behind it also was we kind of had a hard fall again with our recent miscarriage and so yeah just giving the gift of a weekend away to spend with my husband is everything I could ask for so yeah I'm very excited about that and that finishes up what I got for Christmas 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed walking through with me and seeing what I got this year. I would love to hear what you guys found under the tree this year. Leave it in the comments below if you'd like to share what you got. Um, 
I also every year film a what I got in my stocking and what my dog got for Christmas. I normally combine those into one video since they generally are, you know, kind of smaller groupings of things, but I still just think it's a fun thing to film. So if you are interested in that, stick around and that video will probably be going live next week. You can also check out all of my previous years, what I got for Christmas and what came in my stocking videos. I will leave the playlist linked for you in the cards above and also down in the description box. And yeah, I hope you guys had a very, very, very Christmas. I'm gonna wrap things up really fast because I'm sure this video has been extra long like my videos always end up being. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And please give it a thumbs up if you did. It really helps out my channel. And don't forget to subscribe down below. I'd love to have you following along and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.